Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the system swipe navigation gestures. Okay, so to locate the system swipe navigation gestures, just pull down the notifications, go into the settings and scroll down to where it says display. And then keep scrolling down to where it says navigation bar. So it explains manage the home, back and recent buttons or use gestures for more screen space. Select it. And here you will see the default buttons layout. So we've got the back button, the home button and the recent apps button. And if you look down here, we've got the back button, the home button, the recent apps button. So we're going to select the swipe gestures option. And then I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Okay, so if you look down here now, you'll notice that the back button, the home button and the recent apps button, they've now disappeared. They've gone and it's been replaced with this swipe gesture button. And this helps to free up space with the applications, what you might have down here at the bottom. Okay, so this works by, if let's just say you're browsing the Play Store. and you want to go back to the home screen, normally you'd press the back button, but like I said, the back button has now gone. So what you have to do is just swipe up like that and it'll bring you back to the home screen. Let's just say you're browsing the Galaxy Store and you want to go back to the home screen. You just swipe up like that. And this works with any application. So if you're on YouTube, you just swipe up like that. Works with Facebook as well. You just swipe up like that. And then if you want to bring up your recent apps, you're going to hold your finger on it and drag it up to the middle of the display, just like that. And it'll bring up all your recent applications. And there's an option down here to close all the applications at once. Or if you want, you can just swipe up and close the ones that you do not want to use anymore. Or like I said, just simply select close all. Okay, another thing what you can do as well, if you want to um, go back to the home screen. So let's just say we're on the Play Store and you want to go back to the home screen, you can just swipe inwards like that from either side of the display. Just swipe in like that. So if you're left-handed, you just swipe in like that. If you're right-handed, you just swipe in like that. And remember, just long press on it and swipe up to the middle of the display to close the recent applications. And if you want to bring back the buttons, the default buttons, just go back into the settings, go back to display and scroll down to navigation bar and then just select the buttons option and it will bring back the back button, the home button and the recent apps button. And you can also change the button layout as well. So we've got the back button here, the home button and the recent apps. But if you want to switch it up, just select this option here. And as you can see, it's now changed. The back button is here on the left. The home button is here in the middle and the recent apps button is here on the right hand side. So yeah guys, this was just my video showing you how to use the swipe navigation gestures on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I hope this video helped you out. If you already know what to do, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified the second I upload a video. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. See you in the next video. Deuces.